Kia ora e tafano, mere kere himete. Is that how you say it? Let me just Google. Mere kere himete. Oh no. Merry Christmas. Welcome to today's video. We are into the Christmas spirit today. It is December 2nd and to be honest this tree's actually been up for like three weeks. For obvious reasons I will not be participating in Vlogmas this year. Every time someone's like yeah I'm doing Vlogmas I'm like ooh good luck my friend. But I also want to get the Christmas content coming. I, I can't say if there's going to be more Christmas videos after this but here I am. Actually I need a Santa hat. Let me, I'll be back in just a second. Oh, <laughs> Today I'm going to walk you guys through not necessarily my Christmas wish list, but just some inspiration. So a lot of the things that I'm going to be sharing with you guys I actually have already and love them and feel like you need it in your life. It's basically like a favourites video except it's Christmas so we're just going to label it a Christmas wish list video. So you're welcome. Obvious disclaimer that Christmas is not about the gifts. It's about the whanau, it's about the food, and most importantly it is about our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. We're celebrating his birthday. This is the birthday boy on the tree. Happy birthday, Jesus. So, I have a bit of a wish list here on my phone for you guys, and I've sectioned it off into three categories. So, I've got under $50, 50 to 100, and then over $100. We'll start with the under $50 category. First up, we have glass straws. They're amazing. I get a little bit iffy about metal straws because you can't really see what's going on inside them. So, these glass straws you can see straight through, they're reusable. They also don't break, which blows my mind. So, highly recommend. A phone, like a fast charger for your phone. If you don't have one of these already, add it to your list ASAP. The Jesus Calling devotional book. I was actually given this as a gift from a friend of mine, like, nearly three years ago. It's a 365-day devotional book. So even though every year I'm actually reading the same stuff, it just, every time, it, like, impacts me in a different way. So, highly recommend. Paint by numbers. There's two approaches to the paint by numbers. There's the Kmart approach, or there's the paint by Freedia approach. Yes, there's probably other retailers out there who sell them, but those are the two main ones that I've heard of, but they're both, like, at opposite ends of the price spectrum. A running belt. I'm not a runner, but... It's just so handy, like I mostly wear it when I go for walks. There's a whole heap out there ranging from like $15 to like $50. I'm sure they all do the same thing. A metal razor. I have one of these and I've had it for coming up three years. And I was a bit nervous when I first got it. I was like, oh, this is going to rust. It's not going to be good, blah, blah, blah. It has been amazing and it has saved me so much money because the refillable, like the extra blades are so much cheaper than the plastic ones and they're obviously better for the environment too. A glass house car diffuser. I was given one of these for my 21st birthday actually and I have it in my car and every, I kid you not, every single time someone jumps in my car they're like wow it smells amazing in here and I'm like I cannot take credit for that. It is definitely like pricey for what it is so I feel like it's a good gift idea or a good thing to like ask for because it's not necessarily something that you would go out and buy for yourself. Olaplex number eight. I have seen the rage on socials about Olaplex number three. Olaplex number three has nothing on Olaplex number eight and no one is talking about it so I'm here to talk about Olaplex number eight. You need to try it. <laughs> Flash Lash Serum. So so good. A mug. You can't go wrong with a mug. Knowing me, I'm probably gonna end up putting a photo of a country road mug over here somewhere. It doesn't have to be a country road mug, it can be anything. I have on my list here, I have Tea Total Tea. I love Tea Total's tea, and they do like cute little gift like tins and stuff. If you're into drinking coffee more so than tea, then a coffee gift set instead of a tea gift set. Wow, I'm really struggling to get my words out today. Alrighty, that is all for the under $50 section. Moving into the $50 to $100 section, just it up a notch. First up we have a film camera. I'm going to put a photo here of the one that I have. It is from Circa. It's a reusable one. Highly, highly recommend a reusable one because it means you're not wasting a whole camera every single time you go through a roll of film. Also a really great gift idea coming in or even just something to ask for for yourself heading into summer. Great way of capturing memories. I recently got some film developed and it was like Christmas when it came through. The gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> Next up we have a sunrise alarm clock. Purchased one of these. It's from Marty Ape. I purchased it a couple weeks ago so I've been using it for yeah a couple of weeks now. I did a whole heap of research before I bought it because I was very particular about what I wanted and this one ended up being the best bang for buck for sure. Next up is Dear Future and Dear Me. I should have, I actually have these, I should have bought them to show you guys. But I'll put a photo of them here anyway. My beautiful friend Hannah actually designed and 
made these and so credit to her she is amazing they're guided like prompted journals so you just work your way through them and they are so amazing honestly the most beautiful gift idea next up we have a 2024 diary calendar planner all of that fun stuff I'm gonna put a third of the one that I have here it is from St. Belford 2024 my fourth year using their diaries and they are just amazing so I highly highly recommend dried flowers they are just so beautiful yes I've got these in the 50 to 100 dollar section depending on the size of them you can get smaller ones for cheaper and obviously bigger ones that cost more money most markets have them otherwise there are like physical stores that sell them as well glass house candle need I say more <laughs> Uggs. I saw that NZ Sale, if you're from New Zealand, NZ Sale is doing a sale on some various Ugg styles at the moment. I actually bought a pair for my brother and I can say that because he was actually sitting next to me when I bought them for him. They were ridiculously cheap for Uggs, they were like 50 bucks, which is so good. Phone case, I get a lot of questions about my phone case, I'll just hold it up and show you guys. It is this one from Status Anxiety and it has like, it's got my license in the back there, you can fit up the three cards in the back. So that is the one that I'll put a photo of up here as well. But any sort of phone case. And last but not least, in the 50 to $100 section, we have a Daniel Wellington ring. I actually have one of these on my, not my ring finger, it's on my other hand. But they're like, kind of like a dupe for the Cartier ring. The Daniel Wellington stuff is super nice. I've been wearing this ring pretty much every day, well literally every day, for nearly two years. And it's obviously not actual gold. And it has lasted surprisingly well. Like, yes it is showing a little bit of wear and tear. Looks like it's been loved well. It has been. But yeah, their rings are beautiful and very high quality and great bang for your buck. Moving into the over $100 section, I only have like five items in here because personally, I don't really ask for stuff over $100 because I know that I'm not going to get it. <laughs> First up, we have a blunt umbrella. These are like pretty much indestructible umbrellas. They're such good quality. Next up is perfume. I put this in the over $100 category because I have expensive taste in perfume, but if you don't have expensive taste in perfume, for sure, under $100, you can get some really decent stuff. Next up, we have a beach umbrella. Yes, you can get these for under $100, but the ones that I saw that were particularly cute are from this place called um, Isla in Bloom, I think it's called. Personally, I haven't got one myself, so I, don't, I can't speak for the quality of them, but you'd hope for over $100 that you'd be looking at some pretty good quality, especially coming to summer, I feel like this is such a cute gift idea. Next up, if anyone gets this for Christmas, I am quite jealous of you. Just putting it out there. Earpods Pro. I purchased some of these myself on Black Friday and they are quite good. Definitely, I would say overpriced for what they are, but I'm thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. And last but not least, we have Daniel Wellington making another feature. They have a gift sets on their website which include like rings and watches and bracelets and just really beautiful stuff. If by any chance there is a boyfriend watching this right now looking for a beautiful gift for his girlfriend or a husband for his wife or a fiance for his fiance, this is the perfect gift idea. I can guarantee you that she will love it. That is all that I have for you guys. I know as soon as I shut the camera off, I'm gonna think of more things to add to this video, but that's okay. If you made this far in the video, comment down below the thing that is at the top of your Christmas wish list. I'm very intrigued to see, and if it's something that I haven't included, which is highly likely. And then you can also head down to the comments and get some extra inspiration for your Christmas wish list as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe, stay well, make someone smile. Merry Christmas, and I will see you in my next video. <laughs>